Every parent wants to help their kids learn to read and read well and, and also foster a love for reading. Unfortunately, sometimes despite the best intentions, parents make some mistakes. Reading expert Ruth Rumack joins us this morning with the top three mistakes, in fact, that we parents make. So we're going to try and try and avoid those pitfalls. So I was thinking, I was thinking Ruth, if we, we want to, let's get down with the kids. Absolutely. Right? Let's get down and, and read with the kids right now. Ah, That's what we do. I like this. We all do right. this at the office all the time. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Just oh. This was easier when I was, when, I, when I was a young parent. Okay. So when we're reading with our kids, we really want to make sure that we keep it fun and we keep it light. And I brought a whole bunch of little games for us that we can talk about for our preschoolers so that they feel empowered and ready to read when the time comes. Okay. Let, so, so foam letters, and they could be foam, it could be the magnetic anything. ones in the fridge, anything yes. like that. Magnetic letters, foam letters. We've got little letter tiles here. This is, you know, from different games that mm -hmm. I've pulled. What's really nice about these is that you dump them on the floor and you can explore. You can talk about the sounds. You can talk about the shapes you can talk about the names but this is one of the biggest mistakes that parents make that thinking that because my child knows the alphabet or the alphabet yeah. song that they yeah. are they can read or they will be ready to read is the alphabet song something that's important it's very important we need to know alphabet uh, order. honestly this this wasn't well thought out Jordy. <laughs> This was, this was not, this used to be a lot more comfortable. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Well, we, we talk about the alphabet, and we need to know the, the names of the letters, but we also need to know the sounds of the letters. And what's important for, for pre-reading skills is all of these pieces that go behind it, like learning how to rhyme, learning how to alliterate, how to put sounds together, learning how to squeeze them together and then pull them apart. So all of these pieces and lots of games we can play with our preschoolers to really help them understand what sounds are good for. Now, as we're reading to our kids, one of the things we tend to do is, so if I'm, I'm reading like this and they're saying, uh, this is, says the bad bet, so if I go the bade, and then we, we immediately say, that's bad. We, we, it, right. not, not, not that you're bad, but, but, but that word is bad. So we're correcting them. And you're saying correcting them all the time is not always the right thing to do. I think you have to give a child a chance, right? We don't want to jump in. We don't want our children to feel wrong or to feel bad about their reading. But at the same time, if we're correcting them every other word or every five words in a sentence, it's going to make it difficult for them to feel confident. So step back, give them a moment to think about it, and then allow them the, the time to process all that information. Okay, uh, reading alternate lines when reading together is another mistake that that we make so they read a line we read a line they read it's fun it's interactive you know what it's a good idea it's a good intention but I find that it really disrupts the flow and it's hard for a child to really understand and comprehend the sentence and then the bigger picture of the story if they're only engaged every other line a better idea is actually to front load the vocabulary so show them the hard words ahead of time help them to break them down and then put them back together so that when they come to it themselves they're able to do it on their own Okay, do you know what, uh, I want to, you brought so much stuff, and this is such an important topic, I tell you what, uh, Jordy, can you grab my phone, I forgot it over there, I'm going to go on uh, my Twitter account on Periscope, so I'm going to go to my Twitter account, C can you save just another couple minutes? Absolutely. And we're going to get into this mixing bowl of toys, as well as what I think is, is a die that yep. you can make, and what's on this, and we'll talk about the blocks as well. So uh, at Kevin Frankish, if you want to check that out uh, right now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. More information, uh, Ruth at Ruth. Uh, sorry, sorry, hold on. What is the, uh, what's your, this one right there. Oh, uh, oh that's my email. Th that's your okay, phone number and your email. email. Uh, RuthRumack.com. RuthRumack.com. The, there you go. All right, uh, we'll be back. So go to, uh, go to at Kevin Frankish right now.